Hi and welcome to this short video on the Vital Substances Part 3. This is from the Certificate in Twena. My name is James O'Sullivan. Here we talk about essence. Essence in Chinese has been translated from Jing. Jing is the source of life derived from our parents. It's supplemented or strengthened by our post-heaven chi or our post-natal chi. And it is the basis of all organic life. It's fluid-like and it's the blueprint for mental and body development. It's mainly stored in the kidneys and it's called kidney essence. It's something akin to our genetic blueprint. Essence is responsible for growth, reproduction and development. It is very important for the development of a person through life. It's responsible for growth of the bones, teeth, and hair. All essence is kidney essence and it's also responsible or important for the brain and sexual reproduction, fertility in both men and women, uh, for promoting kidney chi. Kidney chi is the root of all chi in the body and if you have a deficiency of kidney chi then you will see weakness within the whole body. Kidney essence is also responsible for producing marrow, which includes the brain and spinal cord. It determines our constitution. It works with Wei Qi to help us to protect our body. If we have weak essence, then you will see illness or chronic infections or chronic disease. Let's just take a look at pre-heaven essence or prenatal essence. This is the essence that we receive from our ancestors. It's gathered and formed at, at conception and it's stored in the kidneys. It determines the basic constitution and strength and vitality of the person. It's essential for growth and development. It can be conserved but not replenished and it's composed of essence and yuan chi. And we come across the yuan source points in later on in the course. Post-heaven essence is postnatal essence. It's derived from the food, drink and lifestyle after we start to take our first breath and after we start eating in this life. It can be stored and replenished. Uh, it's composed of food chi or chi from food and drink, from air chi and also from gathering chi of the chest. Post-heaven chi is influenced by the food quality, the balance of emotions, physical exercise and lifestyle habits, as we will see in the disharmonies associated with essence later. Disharmonies of essence include retarded development. Here we see weak essence in children may lead to poor bone development, slow learning or poor concentration. As we get older, the weak essence causes premature graying of the hair, bald, baldness, deafness, osteoporosis, senility, and unclear thinking, premature aging. Because of the relationship between the kidneys and essence, if essence is weak, then you will have poor memory, dizziness, poor concentration, impotence, low back pain, and tinnitus. Constitutional weaknesses leads to chronic problems like allergies, autoimmune disorders and Wei Qi deficiency. So our last breath is that last portion of essence before we move on to the next plane. We talk about Shen or the mind. This is the spirit of a person. It's the ability to think and the force of the human personality. It is often described as the mind. It forms ideas and the desire to live. The state of the mind is observed in the eyes. Eyes may glitter and sparkle. This indicates a healthy, good spirit. If the shen or spirit of a person is low, then the eyes are dull without glitter. It shows a disturbed spirit. A person might be slow, forgetful, suffer from insomnia, have unclear thinking, Extreme Shen disharmony may lead to violent madness and unconsciousness. Body fluids or Jin Ye, these originate from food and drink. They enter the body via the stomach, 
which is said to be the origin of fluids and after that it's worked upon by the spleen which transforms this food and drink into chi. The jin aspect of body fluids means anything liquid or fluid. These fluids are thin, clear, light and watery. It circulates in the exterior, in other words between the skin and the muscles with the wei chi. It warms and nourishes the muscles and moistens the skin and hair. Ye means fluids of living organisms. It's more thick, turbid, dense and heavy fluids. It circulates in the interior with the ying chi, the nutritive chi. It nourishes the joints and orifices and it moistens the spine, brain and bone marrow. Body fluid deficiencies can lead to a whole range of problems arising from the lack of nourishing and a moistening function. For example, deficiency fluids in the intestines can lead to constipation. Main clinical manifestations of body fluid deficiency would be dryness in the body, scanty urination, thirst, constipation, dry stools, dry eyes and lips. The tongue may be red with or without coating and the pulse is thin, rapid. Fluid retention is another pattern of disharmony associated with jin ye or body fluids. The main causes of this pattern can be qi and yang of the lungs, spleen and kidneys, which are too weak to transform and absorb the body fluids, and this leads to dampness and phlegm. Main clinical manifestations would be poor appetite, fatigue, dizziness, edema, cough, damp with a feeling of heaviness in the lower abdomen. The tongue would be wet with white coating and the pulse may be slippery and or wiry. Qi is crucial in the production and the transportation of body fluids and it is responsible for holding the fluids in place. Body fluids and blood nourish each other and body fluids are essential to maintain blood in good function. That's it for this short video. I hope you found it useful. Do remember that there is a lot more information in the textbook and also during class. Thank you. Slanja.